Okay, this is a quick uh, look at measurement of custom, <coughs> custom measurement of length. Uh, we're looking at some basic uh, units, and I want you to understand the basic idea is long units versus short units, uh, big versus small. There are we're going to look at yards, feet, and uh, inches, and uh, the biggest of those is going to be your yard. It's about the length of a small guitar. A foot is if you take a yard and break it into three parts, each of those would be a foot, and a foot is about the, the length of a uh, elementary textbook or a clipboard. Uh, the inch is about the distance from your knuckle on your thumb to the tip of your thumb, about that, usually for an adult, so it's probably a little bigger than yours, but it's pretty close. All right, as you're looking at these units, I want you to know that there are large units like a yard that can be changed into smaller units like feet. Um, and when you go from larger units to smaller units, you multiply. Um, if you're changing from a foot to a smaller unit like inches, you're going to multiply. If you're changing from a large unit like meters into a smaller unit like centimeters, you're going to multiply. And if you go the other direction, from smaller units to larger units like inches to feet, uh, then you're going to do the exact opposite. You're going to divide. Now there are some simple phrases to help remind you. And these include um, to change from a larger unit of measure to a smaller unit, you multiply. Remember, a larger unit like a horse to a smaller unit like a fly, you multiply. So, horse to fly, multiply. Large to small, multiply. And, as you can probably guess, when you go from a smaller unit to a larger unit, you divide. So, you go from smaller fly to horse, Divide, of course. Okay. So remember, horse to fly, large to small, multiply. Fly to horse, small to large, divide, of course. This will stick it in your mind, uh, mostly because it's silly, but you can see the, the objects in your mind very clearly. So, um, if you were looking at, say, a city block, for example, a city block uh, would be about 88 yards long. It's a, it's a very long distance, much bigger than us. If you're looking at a car, that would be about 10 to 14 feet. Inches would be way too small, and yards would be uh, down a city block. That'd be a very large vehicle, not for a small car. A dollar bill, about six inches long. It's approximately. You could put your thumb and measure in small half thumbs along a dollar bill. So that would be sitting mostly in about inches. Um, so now when you have these ideas up here in the customary length chart, you'll be able to see what you have to do to change from larger uh, measurements to smaller measurements. So if we look down at the first example, uh, four yards to how many feet, I would say, well, yards to feet, yards is larger, feet is smaller, and it's times three, okay, because there are three feet in a yard. Hmm. Okay, well then four yards times three feet equals 12 feet, because we're going from a larger unit to a smaller unit, horse to fly and multiply. Uh, feet to inches follows the same pattern. If there's one foot in 12 inches, then if you have five feet, you're going to a smaller unit of inches, then you'd multiply it by how many inches in one foot? It'd be five times 12 is 60 inches. And finally, you can also do this if you went the other direction. If you went from inches, a small, small unit to feet, you just divide by the same amount. And 48 divided by 12 is Four feet. Hey, mathletes, Mr. O's here, and I've got a neat little thing I wanted to show you using a penny and a ruler. See, the thing is, we were talking about different sizes, right? So we have inches, you know, about that size of that half thumb, then 12 of those make up a foot. Now, it doesn't seem to make a lot of sense to measure with just an inch. I mean, a very, very small amount for a penny. I mean, that penny is, you know, very, 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 very small, right? The thing is, it depends on which way you look at it. Look at that. 
and that's a three inch penny. Wait a minute, Mr. R, are you telling me, yep, that's a real big penny. Oh, back here, I have another penny. Hmm. And this one is probably a regular one if I come all the way in to see. <gasps> oh, that's an awfully large penny too. I could measure this one in inches. It's actually an inch and a half. Oh, aha. As I move farther away, we look down and I have a real penny, although I wouldn't measure this in inches, of course. Why wouldn't I measure this in inches? Hmm. At any rate, okay. So we, ah, oh, my goodness. I'm not even sure if you can see it. <laughs> it's an extremely small penny, which we definitely would not want to measure in inches.